me, her maintenance just came back from working out. I feel good. Um, this is my second day. Um, I'm doing a liver cleanse and um, a detox tea at night. And I, um, Saturday, I keep saying, um, Saturday I am going to start this stuff that Southern Comfort sent me. Yeah, I know how much I was weighing, 182, 182.5. So, I'm weighing in again. My regular weigh in is on Monday, but we're doing this stuff he told me to wait till Wednesday to weigh in. I don't know, but I'm going to call him and talk to him. See, this her. It looks a skip goddamn mess. All y'all been saying, I like your hair, her man is just real cute. Fuck this hair. Either I'm going to have fly hair and a fucked up body, or I'm going to have a fucked up body and fly hair. All the girls at the barbershop, shit, I just got my hair done. I can't work out. Who want to be a fat motherfucker with fly ass hair? Who want to do that? That's them. But you always hear a fat, bad built motherfucker saying they don't want to mess up their hair. It's always them bad built bitches that don't want to mess up their hair. This hair is gone. Tonight, I y'all will see me again. I'm going to be Crystal Gale. I'm going to have her, her, her. So I can just wrap it up or get some curly weave or some. Or well, I'm going to go to the barber shop. Either or. It don't matter. Ain't nothing but her to grow back. Um, yeah, thanks for all my Keisha, your hair so fly comments. But it ain't going to work. Because unless y'all want me to be fly her, fuck the body, or fuck the her fly body. Fuck the her fly body. Because y'all don't want me to be cute from the neck up. It's always some fat ass girl saying, Girl, you don't need to be messing up your hair. That's why you only cute from the neck up. Nobody want no motherfucking head. You want a head and a motherfucking body. But that ain't why I started talking to y'all today. Oh, this, I can't believe I made, well, y'all family shit. I don't give a damn. Y'all see, y'all see me look worse. Oh, look at the big old face. All right, I did, um, 35 minutes on the elliptical. I did 2,000 abs, and that's all I did. That's all the friend had me to do today. 2,000 abs. Y'all see these abs? Hold on. So y'all can see this. This is my pain. My stomach's too small. Y'all can't see it real good. My mirror dirty. Look. See? You can really tell where it's dirty at. My son called himself clean. He ain't clean his damn mirror. Anyway, let me quit playing. I got a, um, my two-week post video. Um, if y'all interested in seeing it, after I came from the doctor, let me know. It was two weeks after it was swole. I can't, um, I can't. I can't. I, I can't, but I don't have an appointment to go back to see Dr. Faulkner until May. He said by then my stomach should have all the swelling down. But I'll make y'all a video tonight on it if y'all want to see it because a lot of people been asking about it. But yeah, it's gone down tremendously. Um, what else I tell you? I had a troubling experience today. I was at the gas station. And this lady, this is me sitting down. This lady at the gas station. Let me see how many minutes I got because you know YouTube. Oh, cool. Don't be playing with it. This lady at the gas station came up out of nowhere. First, she was talking to this other lady. Then, she was talking to this man. Then, she started talking to me. I'm not a morning person, but I'm still cool. You know, I'm cordial. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Then, she comes in the store. And said, well, you know, um, what did she say? Oh, Jesus told me to pray for you. I said, no, nah, Jesus didn't say that. So I kept pumping my gas. No, you know, the Lord had really told me that you was really working with some things or going through some things or something. And the Lord want me to pray for you. I said, no. Nah, because the Lord know I don't like people praying for me. So he would have told me, you coming. Don't pray for me. Do not come up talking about you going to pray for me. It pisses me off. For one, I don't know your intentions. For two, your ass could be putting some voodoo on me. Don't fucking come up talking about praying for me. Don't do not do that. Now, if you're going to pray for me, go on off on your own and pray. In a seed or whatever they call it. 
pray on y'all. Don't come up to me like you tighter than God. You you and God tighter than me and God, and he done sent you to pray for me. I don't want your ass praying for me. I don't know nothing about you. Mm-mm. Ain't no telling who sent you over here. God, no, because God would have said, Keisha, this motherfucker's coming to pray for you and be nice. God didn't tell me no shit like that this morning, so I know I'm going to let this bitch pray for me. I'm going to just piss me off so bad. I be thinking, what is people thinking when they do this shit? If for real God sent you to pray for somebody, just go on on your own motherfucking own and pray for them. That's what the fuck I do. If I see somebody struggling, you know I say my little prayer go on sit down. Let's hold hands. Motherfucker ain't like sent you over here. You probably putting a curse on me. That's probably why my motherfucker head hurt now. You know, put a motherfucking curse on me. Get your motherfucking ass away from me. I ain't even when I was a little kid. Don't, I want to pray for you. Mm-mm. I don't know where the fuck I got it from, but it makes sense to me. I don't like any of that, but I don't know you either. I don't know your intentions. I can't feel no good vibrations coming off you. Mm-mm. You ain't finna hocus pocus me. Mm-mm. That ain't, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Um, Venetia, you sent me a video. You're in St. Louis, and, um, you were asking me about grocery stores. I go to Whole Foods, and I go to Trader Joe's. I go down to Sulor on Saturdays. So if you just want to hook up, um, somewhere and meet up, go grocery shopping. I mean, it's cool. I got to go every week anyway, so you were saying you didn't really know what to buy. Um, we can go, we can go grocery shopping. It's cool. Um, if you want, we can meet at the Ethiopian restaurant, the one that you know where it's at. Um, something else I want to tell you. Oh, in a smoothie, I put... It depends. If I'm real hungry, I make it with almond milk. So I make, I put cacao powder in there, which is one of the strongest antioxidants you can buy. Cacao powder. It's at Whole Foods. It's like $30. But man, if you look it up, even look it up on YouTube, it got a whole bunch of good shit going for it. Um, cacao powder, almond milk, almond butter if I'm hungry, um, raw honey. I don't use raw honey no more, but I used to use raw honey when I first started making smoothies because they weren't sweet enough. Mango, papaya, frozen bananas. I cut the bananas up, freeze them. Um, acidophilus, multidophilus, chlorophyll, wheatgrass. Damn, what else I put in there? Pineapple, um, digestive ends, papaya. Digestive enzymes, you can get them from Trader Joe's, they're only like $4. Um, a little, my girl, um, Devona Dye is a fiber girl, so I don't went about some of this fiber stuff she talk about. Put a little up in there, it's the bomb. I seen your smoothie video, it was real nice too. So I just wanted to give you some ingredients of the stuff that I put in my, um, video. I'm taking off my shoes, because... I just had a lot. This lady pissed me. She want to pray for me. Jesus done sent her to pray for me. Now, what kind of shit is that? What? How? You, I asked her, how do you know Jesus sent you to? Because something told me. Hey, it's a bunch of shit tells me, but it depends on who you rule by. I don't know. I don't, who, who running you? You know what I'm saying? Who, who talking to you? Is it a voice in your head? You schizophrenic? Is it the motherfucking devil? Is it the dark side? Is your lower self versus your higher self? Girl, you better get the fuck away from me. Because, mm-mm, I don't play that shit. If I don't know you, and you say, would you pray for me now? If somebody told you to pray for me, go home and pray for me. Don't you come up in this motherfucking